Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now, frame and panel doors, I've made them for years. I've made them all different ways. Most bench joiners and cabinet makers out there will have made thousands of them. <clears throat> so, a typical way of making them is you have the panel in the middle set into grooves and then into the groove goes a tenon. Now these can be made several different ways on a spindle molder, on a table saw, on a router table. So I actually done these on the router table. The way they go together is the mortar, well, the tenon goes into the groove, the groove acts like a mortise, that gets glued into there. Then the panel, if it's a solid wood panel, then it floats in there. If it's MDF, it can be glued into there. And that goes like that. And then you need to clamp them up somehow and make sure they're square. So this all takes time, it all takes equipment and a fair bit of skill and then gluing them up, they've got to be square. If they're not square, then they're no good to anyone. You may as well bin them and start again. So that's quite a long-winded way of making them, but it's the way I've been doing them for years. But recently I've found an easier way, which is probably easier for your beginner or amateur woodworker. So let's get rid of that. So if you haven't got a workshop full of nice fancy equipment, or even if you have and you're just starting up, the easiest way to make a frame and panel door or a shaker style door for me is to start off with a door blank. So with the door blank, this is the, the correct size for the door and it's cut perfectly square. So you can get that done at your local DIY store. You can do it yourself. If you've got a track saw, they're usually quite good. I did this on my table saw. If you've got one, great. If you haven't, then use one of the other options. But if that's the right size and that's square, that's your door. It's going to be correct. So, if you want to make an 18mm or 3 quarter inch panel door, the door blank is 12mm. So this is just 12mm MDF. So then, I add the frame. So again, I've ripped these down on the table saw. I even done a little video, which I'll link to in the description below and probably somewhere up here how to cut multiple pieces at the same time, or exactly the same length. So it's very simple, very easy, guaranteed to be square. They simply get glued in place. So you've got your styles, and then you've got your pieces for your rails. And I simply just glue and pin them into place. So I like to use this Type On 2 wood glue. Brilliant glue, never lets me down. Interior or exterior work. So you just want to put a nice bead on it, not too much that you're cleaning it up forever. Now another way is to use the, the two part super glue. So you put blobs of the glue on there, you give that a spray and that'll give it an instant tack and wait for the glue to go off. 
but since I haven't got any of that I'm doing it this way so nice bit of glue onto your door or your door panel make sure everything's lined up and I've just got 15 mil brads in here something to be aware of when you're putting your, your pins in your brads I'm going to use kitchen door hinges or euro hinges on these and I always set them 100 mil down and 100 mil up with a 35 mil hole to receive the hinge so just be careful where you're putting the brads you don't want to put them where you're going to drill out for your hinges so just make sure you're well away from there and the same again for your rails And when it's glued and nailed down, I use a bit of body filler just to fill in the pinholes and the joints. Just a, a two pack body filler or a two pack wood filler. Um, I always find two pack works better than single pack, whatever it's called. Normal wood filler. This stuff's great um, and it's easy stand as well. So with body filler, it's usually a golf ball to a pea the ratios so something like that put on a scrap of board just a little bit of hardener probably a bit too much it doesn't matter if you put a bit too much hardener in it just makes it go off a little bit quicker Okay, so that's nicely mixed up now. So as I say, just fill in the nail holes. Let it protrude a little bit and sand it off in a minute. And also a little bit in the joint just to stop your paint cracking. And then just a little bit in the edge of your door. Just to fill in the little joint between the two boards. And now that the fill is dry, just simply sand it off. Now I'm using these, these Abronet sanding discs by Mercher. I can highly recommend them, they're brilliant. They sent me these as a sample. They sent me a few boxes as a sample. And I'm telling you, I'll never go back to normal sandpaper again. These are excellent. Definitely invest in some of these. Finally, just take the address off, or take the sharpness off. So there we have it, the easiest way I can think of to make a frame and panel door and it's the right size, it's perfectly square, nice and simple, 
you've got a nice flat back to paint. I think that's the, the easiest way, the best way. You might disagree. If you do, leave me a comment. I'm always happy to have a discussion with you about different ways. I don't think I know it all, so please leave me a comment. But if you want to make this into a shaker door with, uh, with grooves in the joint, a V groove, then all you do is simply chamfer the edge of that. So you chamfer one long edge of each piece for the middle and the two short edges of the rail to create that V groove in the joint. So I hope you use this method. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time.